Hey yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video. This video is another Sekiro mod tutorial. In this mod tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to install overhaul mods for Sekiro. And the mod that I will use for this video is Sekiro Resurrection. Every overhaul mod follows the same rules, so you can download any other overhaul mod you want, and it will work the same way. And so as you can see, there are all these files here, the old ones, up there with the latest one. I chose to download the 1.06 version because 1.06 beta version of the mod corresponds with my game version and the uppermost one, latest one, I tried many times, I tried many things to fix it but it just wouldn't work and my game is cracked so I think that's where the problem lies because my game is cracked. You can try it if you have the Steam version but I, re I recommend these these four files that have the green check marks, I recommend using them instead if you have cracked. You can try this one too. It may work, but I just don't recommend wasting your time. So, go with this. I think it works perfectly. And it has most of the features of this mod, like the boss reworks and mini boss reworks. So, let's get started. I have these files already downloaded, this is the latest one, it wouldn't work but I decided to keep it. This is the one that I downloaded and as you can see there is another overhaul mod for the sake of Ashina mod. This is same thing but an overhaul mod so you just want to open this, the one you downloaded with an extraction software, I'm using Winrar, you want to open this mod folder and no matter how many folders there are you just want to keep opening them until you find these character event and menu and everything and scripts until you find these folders these are the important ones the ones that will make the mod work now you want to go into your Sekiro game directory and you you have to have a mods folder as you can see I have it it's gonna open it and you just wanna move all these in there I already have them but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna still move them there it's asking me to replace them because they're already there it's gonna replace them and there you go they're all in there and as you can see I have mod engine already but you need mod engine you need this you if you want to know how to install mod engine then refer to my previous video the reskin mod video I show it installed mod engine in that video and then you you have you don't really have the mod folder and download the game or anything or if you download mod engine you're gonna create it yourself And now that everything's done, I'm gonna load up the game and I'll see you guys when the game's loaded up. Now as you guys can see the game is all booted up and as you can see the menu gives it away kind of like the mod loaded, it's working. I'm just gonna boot up my save. As you can see my save is completely loaded up. I'm in the game, no crashes, mod is currently working perfectly fine. And I'm just gonna I'm just gonna check out the mod. I you know, like showcase it a little bit by fighting this boss right here, the Nichiro. Pretty easy boss. Let's see how this mod makes it difficult. Opening is still the same. Like uses a bow attack and then a forward flip. Okay, that's that. The sweep attack is kind of new. It doesn't use that normally. And the grab I think is kind of new too. He never really uses this in his first phase. This set has really changed. Those two slashes also, he doesn't use them. Not used for this move set. Oh, as you guys can see, it also heals you after you use the resurrection, I guess. I guess that's a new feature they added. And boss fight is still pretty much straightforward. I mean, it's not too much drastic of a change. His posture meter is just crazy. His HP, I think, is crazy. His attacks are kind of unpredictable now. The mod just makes this game a lot harder than it already is. He was supposed to use a bow attack after that, like shoot four arrows, but he didn't. And he's supposed to thrust after that, he didn't. Yeah, the moveset is completely changed. Like, it's a completely different boss fight now. Played this game before, it's a completely new experience.
Some of these moves are kind of predictable. Okay, that was not predictable, I guess. And yeah, as you guys can see, everything is perfectly fine. No errors. And of course, he shot an error. So yeah, of course, as you guys just saw there, everything is working perfectly fine. And that's the tutorial guys. I hope to see you in the next YouTube video. Feel free to leave your suggestions in the comments. I will read the comments and I will try to work on your suggestions. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.